What the fellas, the Iron Jesse here. I'm back for another LEGO Avengers Infinity War 2018 Brickhead set review for you guys. And this time, I'm reviewing the third one for the lineup, and that is Star Lord. He is set 41606. He ages 10 plus. He has 113 pieces, no minifigures included as well. Now, my mom got him from the LEGO store last time as well, of course. This is the first time we got Star-Lord in his Bricka Heads form as well. Of course, he is very cool and super awesome as well. Of course, we are going to review him. And of course, we are going to take a comparison with his minifigure form as well. Of course, he is very cool and super awesome as well. Of course, like I said, we are going to review him and we're going to compare him with his minifigure form as well. Of course, he is a very cool looking Brickhead. And he's super awesome as well. So without further ado, let's take a look at him with and without the stand first. So here he is with the stand. Of course, here's the front of him. He looks very nice. I really like that printing for his helmet with the red eyes. And of course, we got that silver piece for the part of his helmet. Of course, the helmet for him and his brickheads form is okay for me. Of course, we got his hair there looking very nice. And we have his printed body looking very cool with the buns and stuff. Of course, here's the bottom of him with the front with the stand. Here's the side of him looking very nice with the blaster. And of course, same blaster piece for the minifigure looking very nice. And of course, here's the other side of him with the blaster. Now, if you guys don't want that, you can take them off. If you guys don't want Star-Lord with or without the blasters, you can take him off of his hands as well. And here we have the back of him looking very nice. Of course, here we have the back of part of his feet there. We have those rocket boots for him to fly as well. Of course, we have those binocular pieces looking very nice. If you guys don't want that, you could take them off as well, just like I did with the blasters. And here we have the bottom of the stand. Of course, here he is without it. So here's the bottom of him looking very nice. And here we have the top of him with his hair looking very nice as well. And the stand, like I said for it, is the exact same stand for each character for the lineup as well. Now we are gonna get ready for the minifigure comparison. Well, the comparison with the minifigure. So here it is. Now both of them are different. So the minifigure version has the helmet there with the hair sticking out. And of course, this version of him has the different look of the helmet. And of course, it has that silver bike piece for the part of the helmet. And we have the hair sticking out there looking very nice. And of course. Their bodies are different. So the Brickheads version has this zipped up one. And the minifigure version has this unzipped look as well. And their hands are different. So the Brickheads one has the brown hands. And the minifigure form has uh, the human hands as well. And here we have the side of them. Now, the side of them is different. And of course, the Brickheads one has the different look of the side of the helmet. And of course, the minifigure version has the different side of its helmet as well. And of course, Looking very nice. Now turn around to the other side. And of course, the other side of them is different. And of course, the hair side is different. And of course, the minifigure form has the different side look of his hair as well. And of course, turning around to the back of them. Now, their back side is different. Now, as you can see, the minifigure version has the print there. Looking very nice. And of course, the Brickheads version does not. And of course, the Brickheads does come with these pieces for the rocket boots and of course the minifigure version does not. It usually has the jetpack from the volume 2 sets from last year but still as well. Of course, yeah, so the front of the helmets for both of them are different. Of course, their silver parts for them on the bottom of the helmet is different. So, the helmet for the front is golden. Of course, the Brickheads version is not golden as well. Of course, that is it. So, my view review of the Brickhead Star Lord. Of course, I did a comparison with his minifigure form as well. So, that is it. Of course, like I said, my mom got him from the Lego store. Of course, he is number 37 as well. So, this is my third Ifini War Brickhead. Of course, coming soon, I'll get the last one, which is Gamora as well. So, I have three now. I already reviewed Thanos and the Mark 48 last time back in April as well. So, I will get Gamora soon, and of course, Star-Lord, he is very cool, and of course, what I think about this, so overall, I really like him, and of course, the helmet for him, it's okay, well, I really like 
his hair looking very nice. Of course, we had that silver feet. Well, I was about to say piece. Well, yeah, that silver piece is a motorcycle piece for the part of his helmet as well. Of course, different than the minifigure version as well. Of course, like I said, the minifigure version has some gold there, and the Brickheads version has this same color design for the Mark 48 as well. Of course, I really like him. Of course, I'm glad we got a Star-Lord Brickhead for the lineup. Of course, he is very cool. I really like him. I like the red eyes for the light to function, looking very nice. And he's wearing some gloves for his hands. Of course, they are brown, looking very nice. And his body has some zipped up print for him as well. Of course, the minifigure version has this unzipped torso printing as well. And of course, I wish they add some back torso printing for him as well. And the stand is the same as well. And of course, his accessories, yes, his accessories is the blaster pieces. Same thing for the minifigure. And his back legs have these little binocular pieces for his rocket boots as well. Of course, he used those for the movie. And of course, I really like Star-Lord. He is my favorite superhero slash Avenger. And of course, he is very cool and super awesome as well. Of course, I'm glad I got Star-Lord. Of course, coming soon, I will review Gamora coming soon as well. Of course, the print for his helmet is different than the one for the minifigure as well. Like I said, the gold for them is different as well. And of course, I really like him. I like the print for his helmet and body. And of course, no articulation, no play features for him. And I like the hair, and of course. All that, he is very cool and super awesome as well. So, nothing else to say, but I really like this guy as well. And of course, that is it for now. Nothing else to say. So, yeah, that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell, the save button. Link in the description. And Hulk smash that comment section down below. And this Wednesday, I am going to do a Lego news video for the new Ant-Man, the Wasp set for the lineup as well. And tell me in the comments what you guys think about this brickhead as well. I'll see you later, alligator.